Probably the modern human lineage leading to the great majority of the ancestors of people today was in sub-Saharan Africa for the last 500,000 years at least, and maybe might be much more. Certainly our main lineage was in Africa probably 3 million, 5 million, 7 million years ago. But in a period between about 2 million to 500,000 years ago, I think it's not at all clear where the main ancestors leading to modern humans were. There were humans uh, throughout many parts of Eurasia and throughout many parts of Africa with a, a parallel increase in brain size and not obviously closer ancestrality to modern humans in one place than in the other. It's not clear where the main lineages were. Maybe they were in both places and mixed to form the lineages that gave rise to people today. So I think there's been an assumption where Africa has been at the center of yeah. everything for many, many millions of years. And certainly it's been absolutely central at many periods in human history. But in this key period when uh, modern humans develop from Homo habilis and Homo erectus all the way to Homo heidelbergensis and the shared ancestor of Neanderthals, modern humans, and Denisovans, that time period, which is when uh, a lot of important change happens. It's not clear, as I understand it, based on the archaeology and also certainly based on the genetics where that occurred. Mm -hmm. The evidence that our lineage was mostly in uh, Africa is based on an idea, I think, an assumption, a kind of inertial idea that our lineage has must have always been in Africa because Africa is the central center mm -hmm. of human history. But if you look at the archaeological evidence, it's not incredibly clear. And if you look at the genetic evidence, we have many early branches from Eurasia and only one from Africa. And uh, complexity and branching in Eurasia that's sampled in the DNA record, DNA from Denisovans, DNA from unknown archaic lineages that contributed to Denise events, uh, Neanderthals, and all of those are represented in the Eurasian record, not in the African record. Mm. Part of that is the fact that ancient DNA is preserved in Eurasia. But maybe, actually, what there's a period when our lineage resides in Eurasia. It's not obviously wrong. So I think that hypothesis is out there as a possibility. The simplest model would be one in which an extension of the modern human substructure leading to us, the ones that some of those lineages coalesce to form people living today, the great majority of the ancestors, gets into the Near East several hundred thousand years ago, and then mixes there with the ancestors of what we have now sequenced as Neanderthals. And the skeletons that we have now are Neanderthals. And that that gene flow event occurs there. And it's modern humans from Africa or the part of the African population that extends into the Near East, pushing into Neanderthals at that time. We have evidence of modern human incursions since that time into Neanderthal west parts of Western Eurasia, also in intermediate periods from the skeletal record. Uh, and maybe even claims recently in the DNA data, but certainly the genetic data attests to a very strong event a few hundred thousand years ago. So the, the, the whole, basically the whole world, even hundreds of thousands of years ago, can be thought of as having gene flow and being one global population? I think that's almost certainly true. We don't mm -hmm. yet know the frequency of exchange between Africa and Eurasia, but this is two million years. It's a lot of time. Yeah. You know, Paul Salopek is like walking around the planet in like seven or years or something <laughs> like this. Like people move incredibly quickly. And Africa and Eurasia are not really separated by by barriers that mean anything very important to a species like ours over periods of even dozens or hundreds or thousands of years. So the idea that, that being in Eurasia or Africa is such a profound barrier that you would not expect people to move from one region to the other in periods of tens of thousands of years or hundreds of thousands of years, that's, that's a strange idea. Mm -hmm what we need is DNA from Africa. Mm. So we need DNA, old DNA from 50,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago, 200,000 years ago from all over Africa, because it's super clear that our lineage is complicated within Africa. There's archaic forms in the archaeological record, and modern human data is extremely substructured with uh, evidence of having come together from many different lineages, which must have been different archaic forms in Africa, contributing to people living today. So having that would crack our understanding of how modern human lineages braided together and relate to the other archaic lineages we have data from.